the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. This is It All Began in the 70s, Season 3, Episode 17, Divine Finance and Insurance. So on Valentine's Day this past week, after two years, I received notice from the U.S. Small Business Administration that my disaster assistance loan for my personal services company was approved. Frankly, this is uh, very unexpected. Um, I had written this off. The program is just about out of funds and out of time. Um, and I've literally been working through it since the pandemic began in early 2020, almost exactly two years ago. Uh, this is for my personal services company, not for any, any ASM-related entity, because I am a contractor. As I've said repeatedly, the um, the profitability and the upside of ASM was never going to flow to me. I have been a custodian of this project. My job has been to incubate it, um, you know, take risks that no one could or would be willing to take. And um, long ago, I've parceled off my stock, uh, returned it back to the company, then it went out as grants in various programs, was traded for services, et cetera, leaving me basically empty-handed, um, which is fine. I did this willingly. Um, but my my pay, whatever pay I received or w my recorded income for the last uh, decade, actually longer than a decade, but a, it, for sure a decade, has been represented as an independent contractor. So the application was made in the name of that uh, independent contractor company, you know, my, my uh, personal services company in, I think, February 2020. So two years ago. Well, that came through, and frankly, it came through at a much larger amount than I thought was possible. Um, me, what this means is that the transition timeline that I had established with Alper for two years um, is uh, this will finance that transition for me personally so that I can build the Hollywood Sports Bible Project along with the other attendant parts of that uh, without having the overhead, without having to worry about paying for expenses. Um, and interestingly enough, when this application was made back in early 2020, the deferral period, I believe, was a year at the time, one year. Now it's been increased to two years. So not only do I have the funds available to build everything over the next couple years, um, I don't have to make any payments on that loan until... February of 2024. Now, as you can see in the notice board, I said that the transition drop dead date was uh, next December, December of 2023. So all of these timelines match perfectly in a way that I couldn't have possibly um, forethought or even considered. At the time that the crash was taking place um, from COVID in early 2020, uh, I was just filling this stuff out because that's what you did. You know, I mean, everybody, I think, went through the various links to see what, if anything, they qualified for and uh, filled out. So all, all of that um, process, um, the application was based upon what I put in there two years ago. They didn't, you don't, you don't change your parameters along the way. They still based it upon what happened at the point the application was filed. So long story short is uh, this is absolutely unquestionably a, a providential uh, blessing out of, of you know from God period because I I didn't I had actually written it off you know and made other plans to um, take care of my personal overhead and continue working on um, this transition and and where I'm going to end up you know the next phase of my life but this closes that uh, gap it actually more than closes it so Another little uh, side benefit, which is definitely a um, move of God, is that uh, because the amount is over $25,000, the U.S. Small Business Administration filed on Valentine's Day, 
Interesting timing, same day that they approved it. Um, what's known as a UCC-1, which gives them a priority claim over everything that I have at the time that that was filed. Because I'm a sole proprietor, um, I'm not operating under an LLC or anything like that. Uh, it means all my personal goods that are, all, all my assets, tangible and intangible, Basically, Uncle Sam has a lien on me um, at the moment that it's signed and until it's paid off and including anything and everything that I acquire until it's paid off, which is 30 years. Now, why does this matter? This matters because certain misguided folks are still trying to pursue bogus default judgment claims. Um, this is the end of that. The SBA, uh, if any attempt whatsoever is ever made, win, lose, or draw on any of these court processes that are still going on to undo this injustice, keeping me from ever defending myself, which is absolutely clear in the record that that's what happened. Um, I was not only allowed to answer the, I was not allowed to answer the claim, even though my lawyer was standing there in the courtroom. I wasn't even allowed to speak, and I was on the phone. Uh, by telephone. So if you think that's going to stand, I got news for you. You don't really understand how the world works. So um, I know this will get back where it needs to. Um, so anybody uh, who believes they're getting somewhere with that or if they have designs on doing something similar, forget about it because from now until I make that last payment, and I may just keep this loan in place no matter what my financial situation is, I may keep this loan in place um, for, for 30 years till I'm 82 years old, uh, just as a, just to make sure that that never happens. Um, because anything I get, they have priority claim on effective backward from basically forever from, <laughs> from February 14th at the moment that the, um, the loan and security agreement are signed until perpetually forward 30 years until the loan is paid off. Now, if I pay it off sooner, obviously it, re it will release the claim, um, but it, it, it attaches to everything, it attaches to all bank accounts, attaches to all property, and acts like a mortgage claim. So anyone who comes along and tries to get underneath that would be like trying to get between uh, the mortgage company and the property. Every, the mortgage company has priority. Um, this is the, effectively the same thing, except it covers um non-real property, personal property. So they have a personal property priority claim over everyone. So any attempt to take anything, and again, these legal processes um, to defeat this injustice that's been perpetrated against me for more than a decade, regardless of the outcome of that, and I'm not making any claims one way or the other because we're going to fight this all the way out. If it means creating more lawsuits, we'll create more lawsuits. But what I'm saying is it doesn't even matter because... Even if all that weren't true, if one inch is moved towards trying to take something that belongs to me or trying to seize a bank account or anything of that nature, um, I'm just going to pull the UCC agreement and you're going to have a conflict with the United States government, not me, because they have the priority claim. Uh, so you'll be, you'll be trying to subvert their claim and that's not going to work out. So that's an insurance plan on top of everything else that I can... Uh, either run all the way out, which, you know, as long as this situation remains active, as long as this injustice is allowed to live, that I'm not going to pay the loan off, no matter what my circumstances are, because it puts the U.S. government between me and any attacker. So that's God, also, no question about it. Um, no way in the world I could have engineered such a thing or even knew that existed. So you don't believe me, go to your favorite corrupt lawyer and uh, ask him if what I'm saying is true. So anyway, um, that's that. Um, I have no need of um, any financing at the moment. Uh, actually, I won't need it. This is going to take care of that. Um, so you don't have to uh, provide any funding. You know, in the, in the notes of the show here, there are always the links. Uh, very few people have done this. Um, Anyway, so it's not a big loss. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, all this stuff comes out in the end, and it will it will come out uh, just like um, 
Dan Arcan's situation. Uh, you know, bitterness puts you in the grave early, man. Um, everything comes to light eventually. Those who have helped will be known. Those who have hurt will be, you know, have harmed the uh, efforts or have worked aggressively to harm the efforts will be known. And then the great masses, the hordes who never basically did anything but stand on the sidelines and show up for the exciting stuff, the, you know, that's 99%, uh, will not be known as they shouldn't be. So I'm not asking for any help. Uh, I will continue to do these uh, podcasts. I'll continue to perform the roles uh, that I've been performing, um, doing the work that I um, do for ASM until Alper and his team takes over at no cost to anybody. Um, just continue to do what I've been doing. I'll do it until it doesn't need to be done anymore, and I still bear a um, handful of small costs. I'll continue to do that as well. Um, Again, proof. You know, I'm trying to. Sh you know, this should demonstrate to you my commitment to just seeing it through for the benefit of the stakeholders, no matter what, um, without any personal benefit to me whatsoever. Um, so anyway, that's it for this uh, particular update. A little bit uh, less. There's no history in this one. I'll get back to that in the the coming uh, two weeks. Two weeks from now, in the next chapter of the historical story. So thank you for your time, and I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.